Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I have a card featuring a couple of new products from Spellbinders Country Road Collection. This card showcases both the Country Wheelbarrow and the Welcome Sign and Sentiments. I began by die cutting all of the wheelbarrow elements. I'm working with both pink, cream, matte gold, and black cardstock. The wheel has a fun shadowing effect. I'm starting off with the die cut that has the little spokes and I'm going to adhere it on the underside of the wheel so that the shadow is on the outside portion. The other die cut does not have the nubby spokes. There is a score line which shows where to put the adhesive and the wheel is going to sit right on that score line, line up to the edge so that the shadow will be sitting on the inside of the wheel. Yikes, I hope that all made sense, but at least you have a visual, so hopefully you know what I mean. There is also a small die cut that is going to sit in the center back of the wheel. The hole in the center of the wheel will line up with that on the die cut. On the die cut, one side will be a little bit wider and that will sit on the right hand side of the hole. The axle, a thin rod, is attached to one side of the wheelbarrow frame where the wheel will sit. When the glue is set, the wheel is slipped on and then the axle is adhered to the other side. When working with these tiny pieces, I like to use reverse tweezers to hold everything in place until the glue is dry. Now for the back side piece of the wheelbarrow. This also has a score line that shows you where to apply the glue and that score line will line up to the front of the wheelbarrow. And finally, the side that is facing close to me, I'm going to pop up with some adhesive foam squares. The little framing piece, which I've die cut from gold cardstock, is adhered right along the right hand side of the front side piece. A dot of glue was placed on the top of the framing piece that I just put on and on either side of the axle. And then I just slipped those struts right in behind the wheel and then using my craft pick got them into position. I'm going to fill this wheelbarrow heaping full of beautiful spring flowers. This collection comes with a die set called Garden Builder, which is filled with a variety of flowers that are beautiful in this wheelbarrow. I did not have it, so I went looking through some of my other die sets. I thought the stems and flowers from the floral butterfly card front, which was a die of the month for March, was the perfect size for this wheelbarrow. The stems were cut from mint cardstock. I did a mixture of flower colors, but kept it all quite muted. Cream, pink, and a few out of pink glitter cardstock. All of the flower centers were finished off with gold foil pearls. I didn't want these embellishments to slip around and it can take a while for them to dry, but I exercised some patience and set them aside for a few minutes. I started building my flower arrangement by adding in those larger stems that have the two flowers. Once those were in place, then I filled it out with some of those smaller single flower stems. The main stems were adhered to the back of the wheelbarrow, but for some of the smaller ones that were sitting in the front, glue was added to the top of the stem so that it would be adhered to the front of the wheelbarrow. In that case, I used my reverse tweezers to hold everything in place. Layering it in this way just adds a little bit of dimension without flattening out those flowers up against one another. And that completes the wheelbarrow and it's time to move on to the gorgeous garden sign. 
Welcome Sign and Sentiments is a combination die stamp set and it is extremely versatile. The actual signposts can be configured in different ways and the stamp set contains lots of different sentiments that can be used for all of the seasons, all of the holidays and even birthdays. This is a really fun set which of course coordinates well with the wheelbarrow but would stand well on its own. The signposts will be done in the same color palette as the wheelbarrow pink, cream, and gold. The sign itself has two layers. On the second smaller layer, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I've chosen plant kindness, gather love. I really like that. And it is being stamped in black versifying ink. There are a few choices of decoration for the sign, all relating to the different seasons and holidays. For my spring card, I've chosen a pretty flower which I've die cut from gold. It has been adhered to a pink oval die cut and then I'm going to use foam squares to adhere it to the sign. I'm going to be hanging the sign from the post. However, it could be hung directly to the panel like it is sitting on a wall because there is also a pair of brackets that come with this die set. I've adhered two little gold chain die cuts to the cross piece for the post. I could have chosen the other cross piece, which is a filigree one, but I wanted to keep it more simple because I've got a lot going on in this card. To attach the sign, I put a drop of glue at the end of each of the two chains, set the sign on top, and then let it dry completely. There is a choice of two finials that can be adhered to the top of the post. And then a dot of glue is added to the cross piece and the post set on top. And of course, the key to working with any die cut project is just having a little bit of patience and letting the glue set up before you move on to the next step. I've created a simple background for my card using the scrolled punch and pierce plate. This cover plate is very detailed and beautiful and produces three separate die cuts. I'm going to be using just the outside frame piece and adhering it to some soft green mint cardstock. Because of all the die cut openings, thin streams of glue were applied to the back of the panel. I want to make sure that it is fully adhered to the green panel and so I set some weight on it and let it dry completely. After a few minutes, it is then adhered to an A2 size top folding card base. After I've got everything laid out and I know where it's going, I slip the post out and put some liquid adhesive on it and then adhere it so that I know where it's going to sit in relation to the wheelbarrow. Foam square dimensionals will be used to mount the wheelbarrow onto the card front. A couple of stems of flowers are added to the base of the post and in front of one of the wheelbarrow legs. I finish up with one of the flowers popped up on a foam square on the corner of the sign and then take a smaller one and slip it in slightly behind it and adhere it with liquid adhesive. The center of these flowers and also the flower on the decorative piece on the sign are finished off with gold foil pearls. I had a lot of fun working with Country Wheelbarrow and Welcome Sign and Sentiments. I hope you check out the rest of Spellbinder's Country Road collection. It is absolutely gorgeous. 
Thank you so much for visiting, and as always, I appreciate your visit.